Hello students, welcome to the channel and you were watching the ultimate English teacher and lecturer. Biography of Louis Fischer Louis Fischer, the son of a fish peddler, was born in Philadelphia on 29th February 1896. After studying at the Philadelphia School of Pedagogy from 1914 to 1916, he became a school teacher. In 1917, Fischer joined the Jewish Legion, a military unit based in Palestine. On his return to the United States, Fischer took up work at a news agency in New York City and met Bertha Marcosa, Mark 89 to 1977. In 1921, when Bertha went to work in Berlin, Fischer joined her a few months later and began contributing to the New York Evening Post as a European correspondent. The following year, he moved to the Moscow and married Bertha. In the 1923, their first son, George, was born, followed by Victor a year later, and Fischer began working for the nation. He also served as a volunteer in the British Army when 1918 18 and 1920. While in the Soviet Union, Fischer published several books including Oil, Imperialism, The International Struggle for Petroleum 1926 and The Soviet in World Affairs 1930. In 1934, American Max Eastman criticized Fischer for Stalinism in a chapter called The Revolution of April 23, 1932, in his book Artists in Uniform. In 1938, Leon Trotsky described Fischer as a merchant of lies and direct literary agent of Stalin. Fischer also covered the Spanish Civil War and for a time was a member of the International Brigade Fighting General Francisco Franco. In 1938, he returned to the United States and settled in New York. He continued to work for the nation and wrote his autobiography, Men and Politics 1941. Victor Fischer, Louis Fischer's son, was a close friend of Luther Vloch, 1923 to 1976, the son of Wilhelm Vloch and Connie, Conard Ulf, who was the Stasi spy master, Marcus Ulf's brother and uncle of Franz Ulf, who is very close to Vladimir Putin. In 1989, Marcus Ulf wrote about the three friends Connie, Vic, and Luther in the Trotka. Fischer left the nation in 1945 after a dispute with, an, uh, with the editor, Friedi Kirchwey, over the journal's sympathetic reporting of Joseph Stalin, his disillusionment with communism, although he had never been a member of the Communist Party USA, was reflected in his contribution to The God That Failed, 1949. Fischer began writing for anti-communist liberal magazines such as The Progressive. Louis Fischer taught about the Soviet Union at a Princeton University until his death on January 15, 1970. Don't forget to subscribe the channel to get all the latest videos. Thank you for watching.